Hi, beautiful. You are looking so good today. Like every day. You are the sh Yes, yes, you are. Thank you for being here today. We're watching some people go from blonde to red. Red hair has been really giving me everything lately. I don't know what it is about red hair right now, but I really want it. When X Mono Color comes out with red hair, you know I'll be doing it. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to live vicariously through these people today and hopefully it'll uh, help me get over my craving for red hair. And also just watching some people have some beautiful transformations, hopefully today. But first, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, get lost in creativity, and develop existing interests. I have the coolest job ever, and I love my job, but sometimes I get in a creative rut, and the only thing that really helps me get out of that rut is taking a class. Andy J Pizza has an amazing class on Skillshare called Find Your Style, five exercises to unlock your creative identity. This class was awesome because it helped me identify what my creative style is. Andy speaks about everything in such a clear, simplified way that my ADHD can actually handle. I know times right now are really weird. The best thing to do for yourself is learn something new. So fend off boredom, learn a new skill, and become a better person through Skillshare. Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box right below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So thank you, Skillshare share for sponsoring today's video and keeping me inspired. I really appreciate it. And now let's watch some people go from blonde to red. Let's do it. First video is by the HM Diaries and this is called Dying My Hair Red at Home. Big hair transformation. Do you ever wake up in the morning with like the strongest urge to do something and you're like, oh my God, I gotta do it. Literally every single day of my life, I wake up with some stupid urge to do something awfully stupid. And do I do that stupid thing? Yes, I do. Because you know what? Life's too short. If you wake up one morning and you decide, I wanna paint my nails glittery blue you do it because what else are you gonna do i don't know and i've just done a couple of instagram stories and i feel like you guys are gonna make this decision for me listen i know i said when you wake up and you just feel the urge to do something you should just do it this is one of those things where maybe you should think twice when you want to go from blonde to red it's a big deal and you can't just rub the nail polish off if you know what i mean you just can't get it out of your hair it's all gonna be stuck in that for a long time. But hey, do you? Here is my hair. What is that? When the heck did you dye your hair blue? Yeah, what is that? I dyed my hair purple and it's just faded to like a really weird color. It's really gray, which makes sense because your hair is probably yellow. You put purple on it, they cancel each other out and it made gray. So this is the current state of my hair. You should color it red. I do feel like red is gonna look really good on her because her skin tone is very pink, very cool tone. I hope she has like a little bit more of a cool tone red or something neutral. I feel like it's gonna look divine on her. I can't wait to see it. What is this aisle? <gasps> what is this? How dare you make me watch the video of you going into the color aisle? You crazy. You're trying to kill me or what? Are you trying to bring the demon out of me? <sighs> because it worked. I'm scared now. I love this hair dye brand. I've used this so many times for like my blonde hair, like my darker roots. It makes your hair really shiny and really lovely. Yes, it's box dye. So her ends are super compromised and super porous. You can tell. Putting permanent color on that is going to be a lot. Something with like a 25, 30 volume probably 30 volume with this or even higher is gonna be a lot for those ends to handle and is gonna cause a lot more damage that is not necessary. For something like this, you could do like a permanent color on your roots with a higher developer, a high lift red color. That way you get that really vibrant red. But then on your ends, you can do a dye permanent color. That way you don't add any more damage. You're actually just conditioning your hair and making it feel better. It's a lot to do to your hair and I'm worried about it. The ammonia content in this box, the developer and just how she's gonna apply it to her head really is what I'm worried about. Here we go. So yeah, if I wanna go dark, then I'll have the red base already in my hair because blonde hair, if you dye it like back dark, sometimes it gets like a green hue or it fades greeny or a bit bluey. So you need to use like the color wheel. Yes, okay. That was really good. She's like, you need to use the color wheel and my turn green. You gotta fill with red first before you go dark. Someone knows what she's talking about, except why are we using that box color? Well, we could use professional color. What's the point? Tell me. She's going, she's going, she's going, she's going, she's going. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are we starting at the root? Why? Why? 
Y'all know what happens at the root. Nothing good happens at the root. <laughs> Actually, sometimes a lot of good things happen at the root. Um, however, you know what's gonna happen? Her roots are gonna end up lighter than her ends, so she's gonna get hot roots. I'm thinking as well, when I've got my darker roots, it might give me a bit of an ombre red situation. Definitely no going back now. There is no going back. You are going full on deep red. I actually do like the color she chose though. It's a very neutral red, a little bit more on the cool side, but neutral, and it's really, really pretty. Such a pretty color. Is there sectioning going on? No. Do I hate that? Yes. Do I wish she was sectioning? Yes. Am I that picky? Yes. I want that to happen from now on. I mean, it's definitely getting red. It is looking candy apple red, and I am kind of liking it a lot so far. I'm fully saturate everything because this is exactly what a hairdresser would do. What she could have also done is added a mixture of conditioner and water and shaken it up in a bottle and then applied to her ends first. That way the porosity of her hair is equalized in the ends because the bottom of her hair is so porous, you want to kind of fill in those porous holes in the hair and make a nice smooth surface for the color to latch onto. Or else it actually might pick up darker on the ends rather than lighter like she thinks it's going to happen. Usually when your hair is more porous, the color ends up being a lot darker than what it's supposed to be. One, two. Oh my God. I love it. I feel like Ariel. Oh my God. Look at the color. Whoa. <laughs> I really like it. I think it makes me look like quite tanned. Look at the color. Okay. Wow, I mean, she looks incredible with this color. So much better than the blonde. I mean, she did a really great job, holy shit. Lately, I've just been like really baffled by how good these things turn out. I don't know why, like what's going on, but it looks so even. Her roots look amazing. That was the perfect color for her and somehow she didn't get hot roots. I don't know. I swear you guys, it's a real thing. I know you guys have seen it in my videos before. It's it's real, you can get hot roots, but this time around she somehow made her hair look absolutely flawless and healthy. I mean, just be careful with the damage, you know? You don't want to be applying that over and over and over again on your hair or else it's gonna cause a lot of damage. Damage. Let's move on to the next video. This next video is called Dying My Hair Red at Home, L'Oreal Paris Colorista Semi-Permanent Hair Color. And this is by Angela Boss. We know you, you did that whole blonde thing. It was quite the process. Looks like we're completely going red over that blonde that took you forever to do, which is kind of sad, but we'll see what happens. So now I am going to go in with the same brand, the L'Oreal Colorista Semi-Permanent Hair Color, but in red when you open it it comes out in a tube just like this you want to make sure it's nice and smooth great your hair is looking long and healthy i'm so proud of you and we're sectioning i love to see it i'm just so nervous about how it's going to come off on blonde hair since it did say don't use it on blonde hair. I have no idea why they told you that you can't use that on blonde hair. That makes no sense to me and I feel like it's just going to be extremely dark and vibrant. I can't wait for the first part to go on her hair. That's the most satisfying part. Oh my God. That is going to be a lot, a huge change. Oh, she's doing beautiful, gorgeous sectioning and you can tell that the color has a lot of orange in it. It appears to be more on the warmer side. So I don't know, it's kind of looking pink in some spots too, so maybe we are doing a cool tone red. I'm just glad she's fully saturating every single hair strand because that's gonna be super important when she's going over that blonde hair to make it super even and noticeable and healthy and all the good stuff. Her skin is actually looking more vibrant and healthy with the more warm tones on it. I just washed off the mask and I am really, 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 really loving this color. It's like a deep, dark red and I absolutely think it's so gorgeous. Whoa. It's making me want to dye my hair red, but it's making me want to dye my hair like a dark, like brownish red. You just did dye your hair red. <laughs> what do you mean it's making you want to dye your hair red? Um, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to show you guys how this looks like tomorrow. So now it's the- Oh my God. My hair is looking and it's very- Wow. Very, very- Vibrant. This is the definition of Rihanna Red. I mean, this is fiery. This is wow. This is a little bit warmer than the last girl. This is gorgeous. I like it. I do, however, think that the more brownish red that she's talking about is going to look a lot better. This is intense, <laughs> but she's killing it. She's rocking it. I mean, I do like it better than the blonde. I think she looks healthier and glowier. I don't know, more like herself, I guess. I wasn't expecting it to be that good and that red. Kind of impressed. Let's move on to the next video. This next video is 
by Naturally Sunny, and this is called I Dye My Hair, Blonde to Burgundy Red. So I picked up two different colors. So I got magenta. I got two boxes of magenta, and I got one box of red. And then I also got 720 volume. Two boxes of magenta and one box of red. Oh, we are going for a extremely maxed out red, and I'm here for it. I'm going to use 20 volume developer because, um... Uh, you're using 20 volume developer because you want lift. Anything above 10 volume is gonna provide lift. Anything below it is not going to. So when you're trying to go really, really bright red, you want that lift to happen. You want that hair fiber to open up, release its pigment. You want the color to eat the pigment out of your hair and then add new pigment in there. So that way your hair is bright, bright red. I'm about to detangle it. I haven't washed it in a week. Okay, so her hair is already really light blonde. The 20 volume is fine. If you want permanent color, that way it lasts as long as possible, totally fine. I always just recommend a semi-permanent or demi-permanent color when you're doing red. Honestly, it's just like most people want to take it out soon after they do it um, or just change it up often. Usually people don't stick with red for a long amount of time. You know, why wouldn't you want it to fade? That's where I stand on that. Oh, and we're sectioning. We're doing four sections and then subsections on those four sections. So this is gonna look so good because she's actually taking her time to do it. Okay, so what I freaking learned was I shouldn't have put this bright red mixed with the magenta. I shouldn't even use the magenta. I should have used a darker burgundy because my hair, as you guys can see, is blonde, so it's already lifted and it would have took, you know, it's going to take the color well that's so true when she did the magenta i was like damn okay you're going for like neon red here which i don't think is going to quite work for her skin tone because her skin is very warm and she's putting a very cool toned color on her hair i just don't think it's going to make her look good it might make her look a little sickly because it brings out those cool tones like in the under eyes the purple it just, it's just gonna look kind of whack all right so i'm about to put my cap on and then and we're adding a little incubation with the cap to add heat what in the world what was i thinking it ain't it i would say this is more magenta rather than red and it definitely is not the right color for her i'm about to wash this conditioner out and then i'm gonna put this on top so we're doing more semi-permanent color which is totally fine you can do as much as you want in one day except at some point your hair will just stop taking it so i guess you can't really do that two or three times is probably the max um before your hair just stops being able to take color all the little porosity holes in your hair are all filled you can't just keep filling them up and filling them up. This is already looking a lot better. She's going darker. Thank God. This is not the appropriate color for her hair by any means. I think she'd be a lot more happy with this. And she's using plenty of color, which I love to see. Oh, this is so much better. It works with her skin tone so much more. However, I would still like to see it more warm rather than pink. The pink is a lot. So after I washed out my hair, I just did some Bantu knots and then I put it up into high puff. She made the right decision. She used permanent color, which is fine, I guess, if you want it to last a really long time. And then she put some permanent color over it. I'm glad she didn't go in with more permanent color. So that was a great decision right there. And I'm glad she she made it work. It looks good. Um, Just do a more orangey tone next time, more fiery red. I think we'll compliment your skin a lot better. So those were the blonde to red hair transformations for today. All came out pretty damn good. I'm so proud of you guys. Not all the right decisions were made, but the end results were fabulous. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. Go for it. Make sure you guys click subscribe right down below. Make sure you hit the bell icon and the like button to be notified every time I post a new video. And the like button is just like a thank you to me. That'd be great. If you guys don't already know, I do have a hair care brand. It's called X Mondo Hair. We just released hair color and you guys are loving it. I'm so happy. You can shop Xmondo Hair down below at xmondohair.com or you can head over to our Instagrams at xmondohair and at xmondocolor to see more about the brands. Make sure you guys text me at this number. It's really a number of mine. Yes, it really does go to my phone. And yes, I see all your messages. This will just keep you notified whenever I post a new video or do anything of that nature. And if you text me right now, I will text some of you back. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Luis and she says, hey Brad, my hair is naturally curly and auburn ginger color. I was thinking of doing a similar idea you did for Charlie by doing the red underneath of my hair and then maybe get a brighter ginger for the top layer. Or do you think something else would suit me more? That is such a cool original idea. I think that would look amazing on you and spice things up. I say absolutely go for it. Except I think you should do the darker red on top and the more gingery color on the underneath because then you can really see that pop of color underneath when your hair moves. Um, if you do a darker color, it kind of blends in a little bit more. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
everything. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.